Does the internet just seem to be working against you this week? Does everything just seem slow? Do programs like Zoom and Google Hangouts, even Facebook, not seem to work? Did your video get removed from Facebook Live? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk about all of that, so stay tuned. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Monty Weaver and I'm a digital strategist helping you leverage the power of digital and social media. And with the whole COVID-19, we've really been focusing on live streaming and using video teleconferencing platforms and programs. But if you've noticed over the last couple of weeks, if you've used these programs before, they used to run just fine. But now that everybody is online and everybody is utilizing these awesome platforms, we've definitely seen things change. Just the last couple of days, I've been on multiple Zoom conference calls that I used to do on a regular basis with no problem, but we've been having massive amounts of issues. People not being able to connect, people able to connect, but their resolution is just really grainy. Even the actual interaction is just going in and out and it's very difficult to hear what people are saying and even things of just being delayed massively. All of this is a result of so many more people being online and using these platforms. And to a degree, we are kind of putting a strain on the internet and we've definitely seen platforms and social media platforms that is to really take notice of this and make some changes. So let's start with a free website that I like to visit if I'm ever experiencing problems and just don't know what is causing them. So I like to visit a platform and a website called downdetector.com. That's downdetector.com. And this website allows you to see what's going on in real time, real time problems and outages that are being reported. Now today at the top of the list, it happens to be Rocket Lead, Comcast, and Google, but we also see very popular platforms like Gmail, YouTube, and Zoom heavily being affected by internet traffic, and it's causing a lot of issues when you're trying to use these particular programs. So don't worry, don't think it's just you. It's a worldwide issue with some of these platforms right now. So definitely take a look at that site to see if the program you're using is experiencing any of these issues. Now, let's transfer over to Facebook. Facebook and YouTube, for example. Let's talk about the video quality that you might be noticing here recently. With so many more people using Facebook Live and YouTube Live and just using the platforms in general, both of these platforms have gone through the links of reducing the quality of the videos to limit the bandwidth of the videos being streamed. Now, typically I record my videos in 4K. This video I'm doing in 1080p, 60 frames a second. So these are high quality videos. But by default, you probably aren't watching it in that quality right now. They've actually changed the quality down to as low as 480 frames a second. So the quality of the video looks way less than what it actually is. So if you're like me and you definitely like that HD, the 4K look, click on the little gear icon in the bottom. Make sure you change up that resolution to 1080p or even 4K if you're on YouTube. And now you'll be able to experience your videos in the higher quality format. But until things calm down, look for the continuation of videos being set to lower levels for viewing experience just to help the overall internet. Now, let's talk about videos being deleted. Yes, I said that right. Facebook deleted videos from their platform? Well, not quite. I work with a lot of churches and in a lot of the communities as a lot of ministries have learned how to live stream or starting to learn how to live stream. And it looked and appeared as though Facebook had deleted videos from messages that were being taught on that previous Sunday. But the actual thing that happened was, was Facebook was actually upgrading their servers. And so on mobile devices, you weren't able to see live videos. So not only did it affect church live videos, but it also just affected videos in general from other business pages. So as we're going through these transitions and 
things are trying to settle in and just figure out themselves, definitely check your desktop device if you notice something not quite working right on mobile and vice versa. Check your mobile device if you see something not quite working right on the desktop version. So you're going to experience some things going on as we continue to get through this global crisis and technology is definitely one of those ways that we can stay connected but there are going to be some issues so don't get too overwhelmed and don't try to figure out everything that might not be working right you know just before doing this video i was trying to do a facebook live and it just was not working for some reason it would not let me go live the button was there i hit the button but nothing was showing up on my profile so we're gonna experience this for a little bit longer, but it too shall come to an end. So I hope this kind of answers your questions on some of the things that might be going on with the programs you're using, maybe with the internet in general. And if you got some value from this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I am doing a huge thank you to all of you guys that have subscribed to the channel over the last month, over 150 new subscribers just in the last month. And I'll talk about growing a YouTube channel from a small YouTuber perspective here shortly. So definitely let me know in the comments if you want to learn more about that. Thank you guys for watching the video and I'll catch you on the next one.